I'm not exactly sure what a blue rev actually is, but maybe just maybe we'll see how much talk these guys get when they rev up later on in this matchup. Today we're back in Japan looking for, well, Mr. X Factor, Mr. Exciting, Mr. Phenomenal, Mr. Charles Piatel. He's in the blue revs and we're looking to shut the engine down. What's going on everyone? I hope you're doing well and welcome back along to your home of rugby and the Super Rugby Rejects where today we take another step in the direction of filling this squad. Just two spots remain and both of them, yeah, both of them come from today's opponent, the Shizuoka Blue Revs. I've made a hash of that and we move on. The Blue Revs of course have Charles Piatel and Charles Piatel is a man that many thought would be a massive, massive contributor to not only the All Blacks, but New Zealand rugby for years and years of his career. As it turns out, not the case whatsoever. He now represents Tonga, which is where his family was from. He was born in New Zealand to Tongan parents and, of course, grew up in the Auckland region where he went on to represent both Auckland and the Blues. But things never really got off the ground for Charles Piatel in New Zealand rugby with the All Blacks. He did go on to represent the team 17 times and he played nearly 50 caps for the Auckland Blues. But then, in a big money move, went away to play the Premiership where he played for Wasps, eventually moving away out to Ireland to play for Ulster before moving back to England to play a lot for the Bristol Bears. Over 80 appearances and he has become something of a legend in those parts as well. Just last year he moved back to Japan where he has been since playing for the Blue Revs. Of course he represented Tonga at the 2023 Rugby World Cup. He has done that nearly 10 times so far as a representative. I'm sure there will be many more to come for the now 32 year old. Of course there's many other options in this Blue Revs team for us to pick up. But I'll let you figure that out yourself. And let me know in the comment section who you think it's going to be. There's two that really stand out in this one who could be the names we grab. But today, it is Mr. Piatel. Although, speaking of players we have brought into the team, this man here is going to be joining the ranks today for the first time. Pablo Matera starting in the number six jumper, forming a combination of utter disgrace with Sean McMahon and, of course, Jordan Telfua at number eight. The rest of the team has gone through a few changes. Weber and Pollard stay the same. But Mackay's coming in. Lamape stays at 12. Gets a new friend of Fikatoa. Colby's going nowhere. And Maddox has taken over a fullback. We like to rest. We like to rotate. We like to see what these blue revs are all about. On our bench, we've made a few changes as well. Furi coming in to partner up with Kitschoff and La La La. Fafita still there of Luatua. Hoggard, of course, is our main man at Reserve 9. And, of course, we've got more South Africans. But Pippi and then Reese Hodge will be in 23. Ready to go, then? I love this stadium, man. It's just fantastic. Bring on more Japan teams. Bring on more Japanese rugby. Right, of course, unsurprisingly, the Blue Revs, you know what colour they're in? They're in the blue. Great little kick kits as well as they get things underway. Very swiftly and quickly, we're into the action. And Scotty Seo grabs the ball straight away. And the ball's been lost. Sam Green kicked it off. And they've got it straight back as well to the Blue Revs. And they're revving up through the middle as well. Very good run through there. Looking to the left hand side and opting to keep Release. that one in hand there was Bryn Hall. You know it. We pick and go here for the back row. No real chance there at all. Quagger Smith on hand as well. Hall looks wide. Oh, this numbers. Beautiful ball from Green. Got it to the right hand wing. One to Beacon. Oh, Willie. He's in. What a try. The Blue Rams get the opener. Hit the right. And Yoshizawa. Grabs try number one, and the Rejects have got massive problems down the right wing. Well, we made some changes, but we didn't really do anything in that option. What a tackle. Maddox looked like he had it covered. Full Alphine guy comes along, and credits to the power. An amazing play on the right wing. To carry that over. Brilliant for a strike. My word, what is that from Green? Green's hooked it wise. And if anything, that gives me a bit of confidence that we might be able to hang on to this one. Um, if we can do it in sevens, they do it in fives. I'll be quite happy. 
But already we've identified guys we need to look after here. Captain Quacker Smith is wearing seven. Bryn Hall's wearing nine. Murray Douglas, the Scotsman, is in the second row as well. Charles Piatel, Sam Green, of course, is an Australian. So there's plenty of imports on the side. There's plenty of ability as well as they've already scored the opening try. Jeez, there's more names as well that may be less recognisable. Advantage. Oh no, some fear with the fans. My goodness me, we're getting a chance here. We've got Tolatama who is at number eight. The Cook Islander. We also have a little bit of Jack Wright in the squad. And Tuitama, Malo Tuitama. The New Zealander. Crouch. Is also Find. in the squad as well on the back line. So look out Set. for what they can do. Scrubbers <laughs> fed in. Brent Hall will hold and wait for his team to move into position. That's a great read. It almost worked as well. But they somehow get it out wide. The Blue Reds. Mackay has work to do. And Josh Mackay this time shuts it down. But he's very slow on the upwards. Loses the ball in the breakdown. And now they've come out to the set hand side. Fullback up in the line. And you know who that is? Yeah. It's Charles Beertel. Look out what he can do. Swinging back to the right. A little grubber kicker behind there. That's dangerous. We didn't read that at all very well. Chesley Colby comes flying. Ball scratch out to McMahon and Mackay just says, get that out of here. We've got the wind at our back and already we're in trouble. Lamar Bay chases, gets bamboozled, Brent Hall. Back to Hall again, into the middle. Here's the man we spoke about all, all earlier. So it's he into the forwards. And this is ridiculous. I can't even keep up with who's got the ball, let alone where it is. Hall, that's more like it. Oh, turnover meets the bed. And turnover back from Douglas. Into the middle of the park. Here he is again. Totu. He just about goes all the way. Light starting to take effect now. I love that transition of change. Is that a drop goal attempt? No, it's regardless of where it goes. It's well short. And oh, Weber crushed in a munching tackle. We are pinned down. This is not good, man. We are in a bad, bad way. Kicked away. Looking for touch. Piatel says, nope, not this time. He'll run it back and he offloads to Bryn Hall and Bryn Hall's got to beat Maddox! What is going on, man? These blue revs are just killing us. Kits look great, by the way. God, you, you've just got to say, kits look amazing. I love these Japanese kits. They look so good. Line out. It's a bit down. Wait for Pollard, who's going to kick this one firmly into the blue revs half. Oh, that is a cracker kick! Ridiculous skills from Andre Pollard. On a dime. Gets it into touch. And you can not beat that when it comes to getting out of your, well, 22 pretty much. Incredible skills from the Springboks number 10. Ball is one from Douglas. And they'll feel out here. Look at the numbers. Colby, he's beat by Piertel. Kick over the top. Not the best option there. Numbers to the left. Picked up from Maddox. Man, I think we need to use the subs here. I don't know where to go. A little bit of rear ball here. Sean McMahon. Okay, he's got the pace. He's got Colby as well. He goes to Matera. Oh, Damien Troy, maybe. Not quite. Good defense. Shuts him down on the 22. Colby was waiting, but decides to leave it for Weber. Here's Skelton. Oh, what are you talking about? Another error from players normally so, so very good. It's just simple stuff here. It really is. We're bit popping it short. And Will Scouting just loses Crouch. his mind. Bind. Pressure from the Blue Revs. Set. I'm doing the job at the moment. Very good scrum from the VGX. Is it enough? No, it's not. Bryn Hall still in control. Weber almost offside. This is yeah, the number nine battle between the Chief and the Blue. That is a real cracker as well. The ball's kicked away eventually. I mean... We, we, we're just getting outplayed here at the moment. We are really just getting outplayed. It is ridiculous. Their ability to stop, turn, pivot, and elude defenders is showing us up quite poorly. Here's Pollard. It opens up beautifully for Andre Pollard. He beats one, steps the second, taken down. Good tackle on Pollard. Here's Weber. He'll pick it up. Look wide for Co. Holds on nicely. Lamampe and numbers to burn. Cheslin Colby. Put it down. Get our points. Cash out. Go home. We've finally got something to celebrate.
Well, there's going to be some harsh words, I would imagine, at halftime for this Rejects team. This is shocking. First 40 minutes. Some of the worst I think we've played. Almost make halftime subs and bring the whole bench on the way it's going. But Lamape straightened up well, drew the last defender of Piatel and switched it out wide for a man I thought would be a bit more impactful than he's been so far. But Cheslin Colby, you can't leave him out. He is a phenomenal player. Chance to take the lead here through the boots of Andre Pollard. Big wind as well at our back. And we've, well, we have utilised it a little bit, but I think we're going to miss it in the second half. There goes the buzzer as the ball flies over. And the Rejects take a late lead in a half that they have been absolutely dominated in by the Blue Revs who have been just all over this game. Some ridiculous form. Look at these stats. Oh, my goodness me. 82% possession, 71% territory. We have been shut out of this game. We've made less line breaks. It's 5-3. to three. We've almost doubled their tackles. I tell you what, I don't think we've been outplayed by a team like this since the first five episodes. This is ridiculous. But remember then, we couldn't tackle. Today we can tackle. We just can't finish. We can't carry. And we can't defend either. It is insane how good these Blue Revs are playing. Let's see, though, if they can do it for another 40 minutes. Let's put the tester on them and let's make some early subs as well. Mainly because I didn't make them last episode. My bad. Let's go. Pollard. Big wind against us now, remember. That's going to make it hard. If we don't get the game to go our way, we won't be able to kick out. It's a good take and it's a turnover. There's a penalty. It's something. It's McMahon. He's got the ball. Vanga. It's a bit. Great ball to Scotty Seo. Now Will Scouts on his right. Beautiful pass. Oh, it's executed to perfection. And Will Skelton pops out of half time and remembers what his hands are supposed to do. That's what I like. That's really what I like. Great tackle there. McMahon was all over that ball. And if you got your seven on that, oh, it's a bit of a great pass around the back of the tackler as well. Superb play from the forwards. It's a bit. C.O. Skelton. A combination of words you'd never think you'd hear in the same sentence. We've done very, very well. Well, that try makes me feel just a little bit better. I'm going to make some subs, actually. Ooh, I almost forgot. Let's make the subs. Let's make the whole lot. Uh, you know what, Delfri? Come on at hooker, my friend. Get a chance. Uh, Scotty Seo can come on as well. Uh, Loose head. You know what? We'll just change the whole front row. I like Big Ben. But he has had a heavy, heavy old load. Scout needs to learn a lesson. So it's a bit can get a bit of a rest as well. Uh, and in the back row, what have we got? Luatua. I really don't want to bring him on. But I think we know what we get from Taufua at eight. So these two I want to learn more about. Uh, Taufua, though, I know what he is all about. Hogard can come on for Weber. I think that might add a spark to our backline play. We've got Mpimpi and Hodge. So let's go and put Mpimpi... Um, do we go for the double South African wing? I want to see more of Josh Mackay. Let's take off Maddox. And we will put Mpimpi on the wing. Mackay to fullback. And then the final change is, of course, Reese Hodge. Which we will, we know what Lau Mape brings. You know, let's do this. Let's just try and learn. I want Hodge to get a chance. Fikitoa can come in to 12. Uh, and, and Reese Hodge can go to 13. And we'll leave the rest the same. Voila. Done. Easy. Simple. Have yourselves 36 minutes, lads. Go nuts. Go bananas. Good kick from Pollard as well. Probably one of the men we should have replaced, actually. We know how good he is. <laughs> On comes Free. Kitch off the whole gang. La la la. The list goes on. Catch up, if you will. In the meantime, we go back to Sam Green. And number 10, Jumper. Really like the kits. Well done, Japan. Some of the best kits in World Rugby. Great to be able to use them as well in the game. So very nice. Here is Skelton. Here is La La La. What an impact off the bench. He's going to be turned over though. Surely they're on that ball very quickly, the Blue Revs. But don't get enough traction. Loose position back to us. McMahon. Haven't seen enough of him. That's better. That's what I want. A turnover leading to a try. And now a go-ahead run like that. Oh, Hogard. Hogard, Hogard, Hogard. That should have gone, buddy. Here's Pollard. Numbers are his Hodge, and he's got support. You know who it is. On the wing, it's Colby. See you later. Peter Dell's almost going to catch him. That's ridiculous. 
Piertel does well. Colby goes round to the six. And we have got some express pace now. But it's only going to get faster with Charles Piertel on the team. Colby scores. He's starting to become prolific now. And this team is starting to sing off the same song sheet. Look at that pass. Smoked his opposite winger. And then Piatel come across and really gave him a foot race. Another meter of a head start. Piatel would have gobbled him up. But alas, Colby got that job done. Well, the fastest man in the world, me in the world rugby, that is for sure. Piatel, no slouch himself. So keep an eye on that battle again in the future when they're on the same field. That would be even more scary, especially on the same uniform. Well, okay, we start off a bit scarily, went down 5-0, a late for ourselves half try, got us up 7-5. Plain sailing in the second 40, thank goodness for that. Woof. Because we were struggling, man. We were struggling. We will be back to play the Blue Reds again, which is kind of scary considering how they, well, how well they played today. That is a very deep kick there from Green. Of course, the win at his back. Pollard, Hodge, just get rid of this. I hate playing down there. Especially the way these guys are playing. The ball holds up in the wind. Oh, no. We're going to lose this kicking battle, aren't we? That is a smoker. Mackay, are you wanting to kick this one maybe, buddy? Yeah, okay. You've got away in time, but just about not enough. The wind really got on that one. Release. Mackay got smoked. Now, look at the Blue Reds. They are right here in our half. Look at these offloads, that's insane! And an injury, so Rusty Zola goes off to try and score it. And we will get a replacement making his way on. It is Tuitama, we spoke of him earlier, and his impact he may have with his team, Malo Tuitama. Versatile player on the wings, of course. Crouch, bind. Let's see what they can cook up. Set. Scrum feed for the Blue Reds. Solid enough. Bryn Hall held that up a long time. And they swiftly get it out to the left hand wing. No room out there though. Good defense. Oh, that's a good carry there from Quagga Smith. Bryn Hall goes alone. Back inside that is an incredible round there. Tell you what, Murray Douglas has been in absolutely everything. Oh, there's the entry. Oh, my goodness me. I couldn't have done it any worse. I've sold him down the river there, Murray Douglas. On comes Udo. Um, and that is incredible. That really is incredible. I just said how Murray Douglas has been so good as he picked and goes. Bind. And then gets smoked just for his troubles. Set. So Yuya Udo comes on. Let's see if he can make an impact. Brent Hall again, another scrum. For the Blue Ribs, they fire it out wide. Little inside ball there. Not getting any success out of that. So they straight back up through the middle. Kwaga Smith takes it to ground. Referee wanting him to get off the ball here. Here we go. Here's an opportunity. It's quickly diffused into touch. Injuries, of course. Being Tuitama comes on, and that was his first touch of the ball. And Marcus Olima Pimpi says, Not on my watch. Not down my wing. As the switch of Josh McKay has proved to be rather successful in that position. Here is Pollard dropping a short to Toa. Reach Hodge in midfield. Fends away one Hodge. Now passes Matera. Oh, had to give that pass. Hoggard forces Piertel back quickly. Here's Colby. Oh, look out. He stepped him. One down. Inside step. This is outstanding from Colby. Makes it look easy. The Blue Revs on the ball very fast there, though. No one over the top here at all for the Blue Revs. As a, a kick comes in, Matera will charge. It's a box kick. Matera just about. But Bryn Hall. I mean, on what world is Bryn Hall catching a high ball over Pablo Matera there? None. None. Not at all. Hall taps. Looks full width. But it is a change of direction decided there from Zoe Tua. Ball again. Goes alone, Release. he's isolated, just about gets the turnover. Good tackle there, holding up the plate. And Ula, who keeps on going actually, this is becoming a bit of an area of concern. They are romping upfield. Now they go through the back line. Tom has got a great ball on the inside. Now they're busting away. 
can't get the pass. Can't find Release. the support. They really have been an incredible touch tonight at the Blue Revs. They've made us look very poor. Two minutes to go, though. As they trail by 16 points, they know they're not going to get back in this one. McMahon, what? How did he not get that turnover? Been very good through the back line, though. You've got to give the credit there. Colby beat number one off. Here's a little side ball. The danger man once more. Taitua sets it up on the 22. He's been incredible, has Taitua. More width. Oh, he's done it. He's gone through. It's Taitua. How are we not turn that over? Pollard was on that one for three hours. Smith, little inside ball. A charge to the line. Don't let him in. Oh, we just did it. We just did enough. Time is over. Paul, back inside. Looking for the forwards. Looking for charges. The ball's right at my feet. Looking for someone to take control. It's Tui Tama. Oh, that right wing. Very productive for the Blue Reds. They get try number two. And the man of the bench, Malo Tui Tama. Grabs himself a try as a replacement. Very rare thing to do. Great finish, though. They throw, man, when they go, they go good, dude. They, like, really do step it up. Two tries, and they've kept us to three, which is really concerning. Actually, that's incredibly concerning. Final act will come off the tee of this game. Sam Green. Well, he shanked the first one and he shanked the second one. He would fit in at a prison when he makes a knife out of a spoon. But on this occasion, 21 points to 10 will be the full time score. Rejects get their man, Charles Piatel. Oh, oh, yeah. I can't wait to see a little bit of Piatel against his next team. Next episode, will we come back here to Japan to take one more player who do you think it is there's a few options here but this has been a cracking game a real strange game too when you look at how this game went down the fact that we just struggled to enforce the way we want to play on this match a number of our forwards didn't really stand up but a number of them did but just errors uh good defense and great work work as well from the blue revs kept us at bay three tries to two Pollard was really the big difference here with three conversions but Scouting with a single and Colby with a double matching up with two from the right wing Yoshizawa with one and uh, Tuitama with the second both playing on that right hand edge Dude, it was a really close game it was incredible I mean this has been one of the best games we've played in terms of a contest it really was good to see the Blue Revs come out and dominate the game we made 51 tackles and no I wasn't going easy on them at all. I was trying to use the wind in the first half. Then we're trying to hold on to the ball in the second. Both times. It didn't work. It's incredible. Blue Revs, seven line breaks to our six. I mean, if they won this game, I'd be very annoyed. But you can't feel hard done by because they were the better team tonight. 21-10 though. We get Charles in the team. So let's get the job done. I really can't believe how that last game went down. That's insane. It really is. It's so much fun. When it's close like that, it, it, it beats a blowout. It makes you work hard, makes you concentrate, and uh, makes you do a little bit more than you probably would before. But even still, with all these no-name players, they still almost beat us, which is it's, oh, it's incredible. It really, really is. Right, let's get Piatel in. Uh, is that how we spell his name? Uh, P-I-U. Oh, it's P-I-U. I say it how it's spelled. T-A-U. Yeah, we got the second half right. Right, Piatel. Well, wow. okay, 86 rated. Let's slap him straight in there. What a player he is. Of course, he can play in midfield. He can play on the wing. He is very versatile, but we know he's very fast. He's very elusive and very strong, too, for his size. I'm wondering where we want to play him first up. We've got one spot left in this team. That's next episode. Do we give Piatel a chance for Lao Mape? We know what Lao Mape brings, and it's really good. But let's drop out... Um, Mpimpi can go for a hike for a moment. Let's drop out. I really like that Marpe, but let's see what Piatel could do at 12. Because I know what he does at fullback. I know he'll be like Chez and Colby on the wing. Literally, imagine if you did this. Oh, my word. Piatel and Colby on the wings? 
Where do you defend? Nowhere. Just, just nowhere. Just go home. Just to forfeit. That's all you got to do. We'll start him at 12 because I know he'll be incredible on the wings. But I want to see him with a lot of ball in his hands. I really, really do. And see what he can do um, at, with that opportunity of possession. Here's how he looks. Of course, New Zealander played for the All Blacks. Played for Tonga as well. Being really all over the place and built himself up a very good reputation as a quality, quality footballer as well. Very fast, off the mark. He is extremely quick. But of course, that agility, like Colby, the step, the power, and of course, the ability just to beat the man and to beat defensive lines with changes of speed and changes of direction. He is very, very, very good at that as well. Let's see what he can bring to the team as well coming into the side. He plays everywhere on the pitch, so we'll move him around and see where he, he complements his team best going into the Super Rugby season. Well, one spot left. Who do you think it is? We're going back to take on the Blue Revs. Final episode of recruitment. There will be no spaces left for anyone else. So I'll see you for it next time. Final player, thank you all for watching. Thank you all for your suggestions as well. There's been more suggestions than I've been able to fit in the team. So we've had to go, well, just we've had to pick out some of the best. I'll see you all next time. And uh, thank you again for your input. Until then, though, take care.